This is the FM Gold Channel of All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on coronavirus, protective measures, do's and don'ts. The participants are Dr. K.K. Agarwal, former president, Indian Medical Association, and Ridhima Kaul, journalist. Today we are going to talk about coronavirus 2019, which is globally it has become a pandemic it's everywhere numbers are rising india has also seen already 29 cases so what do you think do we need to panic at this stage see we need to fear but not panic we need to act and not react what is the action 30 cases means the disease is trying to establish itself it means we have cases in some states we also have clusters in three areas delhi we have cluster in agra we have a cluster in jaipur but till now it has not entered into the community so the fear will tell us the fear will help us in avoiding it getting into the community and this fear will also teach us what we could not learn under the swachh bharat program what we could not learn under the tb program this fear will tell us don't ignore cough don't ignore cough with fever don't ignore cough with fever and sneezing because that may be swine flu which is also equally dangerous the cough will teach us how to wash your hands how to keep your surfaces clean the reason being that with that you will be able to avoid and prevent diarrhea jaundice and typhoid fever with that now this will also tell us that any cough and cold without fever is allergy and any fever with cough and cold may mean flu may mean a possible corona but for that there has to be a number of cases occurring with the same symptoms with a history of a travel of a person who has recently come in contact with a place where corona is growing that needs to be concerned but act not react and what is the difference between cluster cases and community transmission you talked about so the cluster means primary case suppose i am coming here and sitting here i am corona positive i sit with both of you for 10 minutes and i go back and both of you get it it becomes like a secondary case person to person transmission you go in your home and you infect others this is tertiary cases again person to person transmission but you know the source you know the index case you know the index case is dr kk agarwal that is a cluster because you can detect trace isolate and prevent further but for example if i come here this room is nobody is there and i go home i do not fever i do not cough and my corona is positive now from where did i get it i don't know that's community spread when you don't know the source that means there was corona lying on this surface from this surface i have contacted it therefore in this office and now you say there are thousands of people coming we don't know where the source is so once it is spreading without a source that is called as a community spread community spread remember three c's first is case second is cluster third is community when the community spread is there then we need to mitigate and not isolate people mitigation means then our job is now the disease is established now we have to manage cases as we manage any other flu case and what are the symptoms how do you differentiate between normal flu and corona flu cough and cold allergy fever with cough and cold flu fever with cough with practically no cold is corona like symptoms with body ache malaise that will occur in both flu and this so there was specifically today's date if you say in my colony i saw three people having coughing and fever suspect you say in my office i have four people who suddenly develop fever and cough suspect but if you say that also has a cough and cold then you say this is swine flu and then if you say in a hospital you say there is a viral pneumonia and you say h1n1 is negative suspect corona so whenever you suspect a case where you say i have done a swine flu test symptoms are like swine flu my test is negative let me call emergency number given by the government that i hope i am not suffering from corona like illness so no don't call it as a corona you say am i suffering from corona like illness the doctor on duty will be able to tell you yes or no that's your duty but don't panic there is a reason not to panic and the reason not to panic is it is not that much fatal 
इन लेस देन टेन ईयर्स ऑफ एज फेटेलिटी इज जीरो अप टू फोर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज फेटेलिटी इज पॉइंट टू परसेंट एंड दैट इज देयर इज ए नॉर्मल फ्लू ऑल्सो इफ यू गेट मीजल्स निमोनिया इफ यू गेट चिकन पॉक्स निमोनिया इफ यू गेट जर्मन मीजल्स निमोनिया द मोर्टेलिटी देयर इज हायर देन द कोरोना निमोनिया इन द एज ग्रुप ऑफ अप टू फोर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज पीपल हु आर एट्टी प्लस यू विल लूज फिफ्टीन आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड इफ दे डेवलप करोना दे नीड टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ इन एनी वे दे गेट एनी निमोनिया द मोर्टेलिटी रेट इज हाई इफ द पीपल आर सेवेंटी प्लस सिक्सटी प्लस यू नीड टू टेक केयर द एवरेज एज ऑफ डेथ इज फिफ्टी नाइन ईयर्स ऑफ एज सो दोज पीपल हु आर एल्डरली दे नीड टू टेक केयर दे नीड टू गो टू देयर डॉक्टर सो द करंट प्रिकॉशन इज एल्डरली पीपल शुड एवॉयड नॉन एसेंशियल मीटिंग्स एंड नॉन एसेंशियल ट्रेवल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट नॉन एसेंशियल मीटिंग्स इफ यू से इन द पार्क ऑल द एल्डरली सेज लेट्स हैव ए एल्डरली मीटिंग नो दिस इज नॉट द टाइम टू डू दैट यंग पीपल स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस चांसेज ऑफ इन्फेक्शन बिकॉज द फेटेलिटी इज लो द प्रिकॉशंस आर स्लाइटली लेस फॉर दोज पीपल and what about medicines do we have medicines to treat this disease see people who are red that means covid 19 positive people who are yellow which means they are a close contact the treatment is given by the government and that is free they are admitted the treatment is given by the government all other people in the community requires no treatment so for treatment we did not worry that's the job of the government the supply and treatment of covid 19 is absolutely free by the government and what about vaccine how long before there is a vaccine See, for this pharmaceutical companies will never be interested in making a vaccine for this because vaccine take 18 months and like sars if it becomes like a hit and run virus which means virus will disappear will never come back in 6 months nobody is ready to spend billions of dollars for that so vaccine is being tried by un and many other agencies that's wait vaccine takes at least 1 year minimum otherwise 18 months so you say that vaccine right now will not be the focus of prevention somebody may have to talk to homeopaths and ayurvedic do you have say, some homeopaths says that they have a vaccine which is called a nosor therapy today that is being projected by the germany but they are saying that nosor is neither homeopathy nor it is modern system of medicine so practically speaking no vaccine is available another fear which is happening in the society is that can it develop by eating meat the answer is big no it's not a food borne virus it's a respiratory virus if you take normal precautions for food hygiene that means heat it boil it cook it peel it or forget it if you know the normal precautions that don't touch the raw meat have it fully cooked meat then you will not get food poisoning as far as corona is concerned has nothing to do with particular food and then another myth which is coming is that can i get infection by coming in contact with any person with cough and cold answer is big no no fever no corona no breathlessness no admission and even if you are breathless no oxygen dependency no seriousness if you are oxygen dependent then only you require admission and proper care another fear that people talk about is traveling in these times when the infection is almost at its peak everywhere so is it a good idea to travel see non essential travel specifically by the elderly big no non essential meetings especially for the elderly big no non essential even public gatherings big no marriages big no because you will have elderly people there regarding others yes everybody is need to be conscious don't allow people with fever and cough to attend your meetings anywhere if you want to play holy in your home go ahead as long as you don't have fever and cough and you don't allow unknown people to come and play holy with you known people as long as you are aware none of them has a cough and fever and within your vicinity within your small area in any way you are having dining and dinners and meetings in your house with your friends and with your close relatives that is not prohibited as long as we are in the green zone and because of the panic we see masks disappearing from chemist shop sanitizers the prices have skyrocketed so regarding the mask red patients who are positive yellow patients who are close contact it is a duty of the government to provide you the mask the green people are not supposed to wear mask if you have cough and fever automatically you will go to the doctor they will provide you the mask so forget about the mask no scarcity and absolutely n95 for the public is big no at the most you require a surgical mask that only you require so that your hand doesn't go to your nose 
regarding hand sanitizer simple soap and water is as good for preventing infection specifically all the surfaces where you are sitting can be cleaned with 0.1% bleach solutions rest as far as your hand is concerned soap and water is all right those who can afford and where it is available their 70% alcohol hand sanitizer is effective and those people who are in school go to google buy a 1 liter or 5 liters of isopropyl alcohol which is not very costly take 70 ml of that put 30 ml of aloe vera gel into it your hand sanitizer is ready at home so i don't think so there you need to panic because if you panic the prices will go sky high and which is another reason why people are actually thronging government hospital for getting tested thinking no. that let's get tested and see whether we are positive at this not. moment the cdc guideline in us is that a private doctor can refer a patient for corona testing in india those guidelines are not yet applicable for us you call the government number and they will decide whether to call you or not do not go with cough and fever to a hospital where hundreds of people are there either you will infect them or if actually somebody is there with corona you will come back with corona infection in corona suspect only tele consultation and also government of india is doing a lot i mean we have scanners at the airport thermal scanners also placed there then our community workers are going health workers are going door to door literally from where the cluster strategy which is called where you one person has been diagnosed and they within 3 km radius everybody is getting screened for it do you think this is just the right kind of approach right now that we require this is what the kerala model has been yes and in the kerala model it was successful the diamond princess model was not successful where you have clustered all your cases into a cohort one person with other persons if they would have removed that particular person on day one and segregated youngsters from elderly people from youngsters into three different cohort or isolated them things would have been different so this is the right approach whenever there is a cluster but when you have suppose you find five people of a family together and of different ages it's not a good idea to do a cohort quarantine cohort means 100 people together the people who came from china and they stayed in delhi manasar and they video came they were dancing together in the evening and that's not the right method cohorting of negative patients suspected patients should not be done just in case even one out of them is positive for example yes. so that's, because that's what happened 23% became positive in diamond prince ship and we have evacuated over 800 people from wuhan from japan and they were quarantined at different places so do you think it was low risk it was not a risk no, to bring fine. them here that's fine you have brought them there that's fine the most important thing is those 14 or 16 people who are still waiting there who were positive and getting treatment in japan when they come back again you need to quarantine them for 14 days that's the most important thing all negative cases you are bringing you are waiting for 14 days and in those 14 days they don't get infection practically they don't have corona also oh, you can be declared disease yes, free after 14 days absolutely you can be even if you the, have been positive the, yes if you are positive they will again quarantine them or isolate them for 14 days most important thing is we don't know how long the virus lasts we have no idea because there are cases which have come back people say it's relapsed maybe the second test was negative we don't know the false positive and false negative we don't know what the antibody titer is because we all the tests are antigen tests we don't have any antibody test so there are lots of unanswered question every day every hour corona is teaching us something new and for a developing country like india it is most important to actually prevent it rather than letting it spread we have to prevent it but if it comes we have to face it mitigate it we are still debating whether the wuhan experiment was correct or not because in wuhan you quarantine 5 crore people 3000 deaths there was a lockdown practically lockdown practically lockdown whether this is correct or not we don't know medically we feel that may not be the correct method i don't think so india will go ahead with that if india wanted that india would have locked down kerala india would have locked down when the first case came in delhi or jaipur the very fact they have not quarantined or locked down the city they have not even declared public health emergency in up rajasthan and other places i don't think so that indian government is thinking of china experiment of locking down the city but dense population works against us is it no that will always stay dense population goes against us but that is what happened in china that precautions have to be taken so what extra precautions need to be taken nothing in a country done, nothing like can ours. be done if you have a fever and cough be careful that's the most important thing so mostly preventive measures mostly preventive as on today thank you so much you were listening to a discussion on coronavirus protective measures do's and don'ts the participants were dr k k agarwal former president indian medical association and ridima call journalist 
This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. This program is also available on our website newsonair.com. You can also follow us on the News on AIR app for updates. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks at gmail.com.